This is one of the best Toski Stone beaches I've been to in a really long time. Maybe the best one ever. Hey all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, Rob from Michigan Rocks here on YouTube and I are a little bit sunburned on our faces because we just had an absolutely incredible, incredible day of rock hunting and we found some amazing stones that we're going to be polishing up at the end of this video. But first, you got to see where we went to find them. So the video is going to start right now. So if you look around here where we're at on Lake Huron, way in northern Michigan, you would never imagine that Rob and I are about to be finding 360 million year old fossils from the Devonian period, would you? And that's what we're going to do. It's incredible the way geology works and exposes things that are that old on the lake shore, riverbeds and all that stuff. We're pulling up to what Rob tells me is about the start of the gastropod spot. Oh, oh that water feels good. yesterday. You may have seen that video already. Oh, oh yeah, I can see all the limestone bits that looks fossil to me. Rob did not lie to us. There are gastropods here. There's one in the rock right there. You can see that swirl going around. I don't think that's one I'll hold on to, but a very good sign. Hexagonaria. But it's just a chunk of it, of course not one that you would polish into a Petoskey stone. But it's still a cool fossil to see laying on the beach there. So this is Bruce. We ran into him here on the beach and he actually saw Rob's video. So he's like, I'm going to go come out and check out some fossils as well. So now we got a new friend to walk around and find some cool stuff with. Rob found this very interesting dimpled fossil he just threw. I mean, he said, look at this, Kyle. What do you think that is? It's obviously a Tyrannosaurus Rex egg. Good good job. <laughs> Rob just pointed out this pudding stone that's got, as he calls it, one line of pud. You can see there he's gonna get it wet for us. Yeah, that's nice. I mean it's still really cool, that whole vein going through there. Look really close at that red one. It's all stripey. That's beautiful. Cool rock. Check out that little gastropod. That's actually pretty neat. If I can break half of that rock off, I'd probably keep it. Kind of a cool little guy. Anything else on it? Nope. That's cool, though. You're just kind of a cool fossil rock right here. You have some horn coral pieces. And some little crinoid bits as well. Oh, look at that horn coral piece back there. That's a cool rock. Look at that gastropod right there. That one's pretty cool. That's a nice size. Let's get her wet. I don't think these are any prettier wet, really, but you can kind of see the detail a little bit better. That's a cool gastropod right there. That's a big boy. Look at that big old fossil shell. That's cool. It's a very strange coral fossil right there. You normally do not see them with that type of preservation on the beach here. I might actually just keep that. It looks like a little honeycomb from a beehive, don't it? That's kind of cool. And our buddy Bruce here, check out this one he just found. That is not bad at all. It's a beautiful little fossil. Good find, man. You can probably see right down here in the water, this solid stuff. That is the Devonian aged limestone bedrock, which ought to be where all these fossils are eroding from. So taking a look out here to see if I can spot anything big and spirally like a giant beautiful gastropod. Look at the bedrock here just getting even more crazy. That is so cool looking. I'm gonna have to get some underwater shots of that with the GoPro. There's what would have been one. <laughs> you can see that spiral in there. Thought I saw another piece of one right here. Ooh. Yeah, sure enough, that's part of one right there. So a lot of them get pretty beat up, as you can see. I think that's even part of one right there, maybe? Oh, that's something else. But there are a lot in this area, so we just need to find the big boy. 
There's an interesting rock right there that's not a fossil, but oh my gosh. That thing is actually really beautiful. I don't know what that's called, but it's funky. The impression of a gastropod. And I thought maybe there was another one sitting right here. Was that one? No. And I thought I saw maybe another impression somewhere sitting over here. No. I gotta find a big one. Kind of a neat fossil rock I just picked up. Cladopora. But it's like a big giant one with huge chunks of coral on the back. We'll leave that there. There's a piece of one hiding down there. What would have been a beautiful gastropod. And then we have weird flowy rocks. I'm starting to get delusional. There was a nice gastropod in that rock. But she's worn away. Oh, still cool. Oh God. Who goes there? A little boy? A little swirly gastropod hiding. Is that the, yeah, that's actually the whole little thing. I think it's like got some of the, either inside or outside that gets that kind of calcite looking stuff, but that's a cute little one. Oh, look at that. That would have been a massive boy. You see, that's, that's actually part of it right there. And then part of it right there. Dude, that would have been big. But he's uh, broken. Here's one that looks kind of interesting. It's not much of it, really. But it is kind of cool to see that nice swirl in there. I got flies biting my legs, y'all. Help me. That's pretty cool, though. I, I, I kind of like that one. I might keep that one. Look at this piece right here. It's pretty cool. See where it would have come down right there, and it would have been really big, but it's broken out. And then look on the back there. There's another gastropod right there, but that thing would have been giant. That would have been a very cool one. It's still, still actually a really cool specimen. Especially with that other one over there. That's neat. So I busted this rock open. Here, actually, Rob, if you don't mind, can you kind of fit that back together for us? Like, show how that was on top of this? Yeah, I don't know which way. It was like, like you just kind of puzzle it together, you'll find it. Yeah, right, like right like right that. There. So that's what I saw. I couldn't even really tell there was a good one under there. I thought it was just a piece of it. And I threw the rock down, and this part popped off, and there's a beautiful gastropod under it. And this piece is cool, too. I'll probably just keep both pieces. That way I have the little puzzle. That's awesome. Thank you, Rob. Sure. Now he's got one that he's going to film, but you have to watch his video to see it. Kind of interesting and crazy how many were right here in this one little area. Not entirely sure why, but it seems like they just come in these little patches where you start to see a bunch of pieces of them. Better habitat maybe right here? Who knows? Well, right there would have been an incredible one. It's very beat up though, not worth keeping. But look at that big spiral right there. You can kind of see some stuff in the rock here. I don't know if any of this stuff like comes apart kind of does kind of fractury there's like something right there in it though something over here oh gosh kind of wild kind of cool this piece got pyrite or something all in it that's kind of interesting huh all right y'all say bye to bruce he's rolling on to other parts and rob and i are going to keep going the other way see you bruce that one's pretty large right there. Look at that big swirly guy. Ugh. That's actually not a bad one at all right there. Especially if I could get some of that matrix cleaned out of the middle. That thing's pretty cool. Let's get her wet. I like that one. That's that, awesome. That's a great big one. Yeah, look at that. That thing is huge. I will happily accept it. You have a rubber band on you? I don't. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, that would make a great uh, a great slingshot. We could slingshot a gastropod across the lake. <laughs> I got a gastropod and a rock right here. It's actually a pretty nice one. Not a crazy size, but a cool piece. And there's actually a piece of one right there and a piece of one right there. A few of them in there. And then Rob actually pointed out this piece from a pudding stone. Probably it's that red jasper. And look how bright that is. 
just amongst all the limestone rocks. That's kind of neat. Here you see Rob indulging in delicious Cheez-Its. I think we got him on the Cheez-It kick, y'all. <laughs> but we just found, I think, a ton of awesome gastropods. We've walked a lot of beach, but we are going to jump back in the kayaks here, and we're going to start heading around that point over there and probably get into some more glacier rocks and things like that. So maybe we'll see some more pudding stones and, and some other things like that. That'll be fun. I don't know if you can see it in the GoPro, but there's a giant freighter out there. Pretty cool. And if you can see down in the water here, look how clear it is. Look at all that limestone down there. That's really cool. We just walked all of this beach is where we were finding a lot of the gastropods. I bet you could find gastropods out here too. I mean, there's so loose stone and stuff like that. 360 million years old. That is just way too cool. And it's so clear, you can just see all of it so good. We got all the cracks and stuff in there. Look at all this stuff. So we're gonna go that way. And I think get into some more glacial rock. I'm very happy to have a bunch of cool gastropods in the seat behind me. Well, behind the seat, I should say. Now we're going over to this point, to the other side of it. We're going to be looking for some rocks and possibly some more fossils as long as there's limestone still exposed in those areas too. But Rob says it gets more like the glacial rock, so more pudding stones, gogandatillites, stuff like that, and other interesting things which will be very fun to see and to pick up. So let's do it. Check out all the rocks down here. This looks pretty. A lot of big rocks. Uh, the rock's a little bit smaller that way. We're gonna walk over there. And I'm beached. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> I almost got that on film. Okay. Yeah, Rob could have got me falling down. That would have been fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a nice pudding stone right here. Not like one worth keeping, but a pudding stone. Kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna bring out the other camera. That's a pretty cool pudding stone. And look what's next to it, a pudding stone. And then look what's next to that, also a pudding stone. <laughs> there's a little horn coral right there, kind of neat. So always fun little fossils to find. That's quite a nice one right there. There we go. Nice Petoskey stone. That would look good polished, I think. This looks like a pretty good Petoskey stone here. There's a lot of that gray, but that part will look really nice. It's kind of kind of a cool, unique one, at least. What do you think, Rob? I think that's a great one. That looks good. That'll look really nice. I mean, it's got that stuff, but it's kind of a kind of a unique piece. Yeah, that's kind of... not bad if it's got some really good Petoskey next to it. That's Yeah, I think that'll look great. It's just kind of a unique stone right there. Look at all the lines running through it like lightning. But it's not a lightning stone. Look at this crazy Cladopora down there. Rob said, do you want me to try and get it out for your video? I said yes. And I don't know. You might be able to get it. You might. I don't know how thick it is. It might be, it might be huge on the bottom for all we know, but you might be able to get it out of there. Oh my gosh. Rob Strong. Look at that thing. That is just loaded with that That's coral. Nice one. That is really cool. The other side is just that. Well, it's got some little crinoids and stuff. Huh. There's kind of a fossil right there. That's an interesting rock. That the other side, that looks amazing. I'm going to set it down. <laughs> yeah, a good idea. I'm sure it's very heavy. Yeah, that's an amazing rock right there. Wow. Look at that. 
the side looks so cool. Good job, Rob. You got it out. Strong. <laughs> well, that was a very fun little beach. We found some really cool stuff, uh, but we are now going to jump back into the kayaks and we're going to keep going this way and do some more exploring. So we just parked the kayaks right here. We noticed these smaller rocks and I said that kind of looks like Petoskey stone territory and the first thing I picked up was a nice little Petoskey stone and Rob's already got a nice one too. So we're definitely going to spend some time right here. I could just see the I just, under... I just, I think, did I just throw that one back? Yeah. I oh, he threw, threw that Rob threw that one back. It wasn't good enough. Yeah, there's Petoskey stone everywhere. Oh my gosh. This one looks like it might be really nice. Oh, weird. It's a cool one. I pit it all funny. There's... <laughs> we can't stop pit. Oh, look at this. I mean, it's real brown in the middle, but the oh, contrast is nice. One of my own over here. Not too bad. Nice. They're everywhere. You can just kind of keep the camera rolling here, right? <laughs> We're both filming right next to each other. <laughs> What's this one right here? There's two right here. Let's see how Here's this... One. <laughs> Let's compare. Uh, oh, I yours is better. Wait, I got another one right here that I haven't picked up yet. How about this one? Eh. No, not so good. How about this one? <laughs> wow. Oh, that one's kind of good. This is fun. How about this one, Rob? I mean, it's not crazy white lines, but I think it'll look yeah, nice. It's not bad. Jeez, can't keep up with all these Petoskeys. How about this one? This one actually looks pretty good. My son texted me a picture. Oh, that one right there. That's the nicest one I've spotted so far. That's quite incredible. It's a kind of cool. This fossil rock right there, Cladopora. All kinds of interesting things happening in there. There's a kind of cool coral there too. Favocytes perhaps. And this even looks interesting, doesn't it? That's a really cool fossil right there. I got one right here that looks very good. Yeah, look at that. That would look great polished. What's right here? Eh, not so much on that one, and I saw another one right there. Not so great on that one either. But this one's pretty awesome. Ooh, even the backside would look cool. I see a very, very nice little one right there. Nice contrast on that one. That'll look great polished up. Oh, wait, there's some more hiding right here. What's well, this one? Well, that one's actually pretty cool too. And this one, not great on that one. This is one of the best Toski Stone beaches I've been to in a really long time. Maybe the best one ever. Uh, not that we found tons and tons, but we found a lot and they're really nice. Little ones, but uh, just really a high percentage of high quality Toski Stones, which is kind of unusual. Good beach. So Rob actually said that I have not been rock hunting in Michigan long enough <laughs> to, to stumble upon such an amazing beach. He so, doesn't deserve it yet. <laughs> he said he's taking all my Petoskey stones. Just kidding. <laughs> no, but I think uh, we are actually going to polish a few of these. I decided that it's probably a good idea to stay another night at Rob's and do some more polishing. So we'll probably, th probably we'll be throwing some more polishing at the end of this video because some of these are going to look absolutely incredible. I feel like I'm being used for my lapidary equipment. Yeah, see, I wasn't going to stay in, <laughs> unless he let me use his lapidary equipment. I was just, see you, Rob. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rob. You, you are my real friend. I hope you know that. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, my hands are getting full. Rob's going to pick up this little Petoskey for me. Look at that little cute guy. That'll look great. Wait, I want to focus on it. Ooh, there, there it kind of goes. That'll look awesome polished up. Nice. Oh man, that one looks absolutely beautiful. A small one, but look at that contrast on the white. That will look beautiful polished up. 
This right here is very cool looking from the top. That's the Favocytes coral. Look at that, and it's like black. Oh yeah, and look at the other side. That would look absolutely beautiful polished up. That's a very cool little fossil. Not too bad. And that one looks very, very nice. I think that'll look good. Maybe even a little porous on the back, but I know that side's pretty. I see a Petoskey stone right there. Yeah, that side looks very nice. That would look good polished. Even that side would probably look kind of nice too. We'll take it. How about that one sitting right there? That's beautiful. That will absolutely polish up nicely. We are going to polish up this Petoskey stone right there. And a few more. Well, let's check this one out. There she blows, everybody. Look at that. That is a beautiful Podolsky stone. My favorite part. That little crack going through there is pretty dang cool. Rob was saying he thought I would like that a lot once polished, and I absolutely do. That is so beautiful. All right, y'all. I went ahead and polished a few of them. Try and get it under. Let's try and get it where there's not so much of a glare on there. That's a little hard to do, isn't it? Let's see if we get a little closer. That will help. Look at that. I love the dark ones like that. That turned out amazing. This one turned out really well. I mean, they all turned out really well. These are incredible. The back of that one's not too amazing, but still cool. I kind of like the back of this one, it's a little weird. This little guy is cool. And then, I love this one a lot with that crack going through. That's the first one I did, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Rob, where's that little one you did? Nice. That came out very beautifully. Awesome. Alright y'all, that's going to be about it for today's video. Give Rob a big thank you in the comments below. And go check out his channel linked in the description below for letting us use his lapidary equipment to polish some of those beautiful Potoski stones that we found today. Also, don't forget to check out the videos I have up on the screen right here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.